I want to kick off the stream by talking about this lime flavored Giga Karen who was apparently lambasting people in a Starbucks for being gay and Asian. And before I even watch the video here, do you all just want to take a guess as to which state this occurred in? Just take a wild guess, anyone. Which state was this Karen spotted in? Ding, ding, ding. As Inferno Blade says, Florida. You would be correct. This took place in Miami, Florida. So um, let's go ahead and watch because I, I saw about half of this, but um, it's pretty wild. But we're going to watch the whole thing now. Hey, what is not wrong okay. with you? That is not okay. No, is lesbianism okay? It is. Yeah. No, it isn't. Why isn't it? Because you touch children. You rape children. I do oh. not touch children. Yes, because you're all oh. evil. Oh. Do you go to church? Oh, I'll record you Daddy all day. Do you go oh, sweetheart. Do you know who I work for? Do you know who I am? No, nobody okay, knows who you are. Okay. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be horrified if I told you who my employer was. Who is it? Mm. <laughs> Escobar. What? Pablo Escobar. <laughs> <laughs> Lady, shut up. I don't know if you all noticed this, but, um, well, it's a little bit inappropriate to point it out. But let me just let me just say that she had a little bit of boob sweat going on. Um, I, I feel like it's indecent of me to say that. But since she's being an asshole, we can kind of poke fun at her for stupid things like that. But let's let's continue. You should be ashamed of yourself talking to people this way. Oh, typical Karen. Are you the manager? Oh, okay. What's your name? Um, who's your manager? Oh, okay. Well, who's your manager's manager? No, it's not you. Yeah, just in case you missed it, this is the boob sweat that I was talking about. Really inappropriate. It reminds me of that tweet from Donald Trump about Barney Frank, where he was like, Barney Frank looked so disgusting in his blue shirt, nipples protruding, so disrespectful. Anyone remember that? That was the best tweet of all time, hands down. But um, so apparently the lady who she accosted took to TikTok to kind of explain the situation. And it wasn't just that lesbian couple who she was railing against. Like, she was kind of just going around harassing everyone. So here is a part two to the crazy Starbucks lady video. I just want to preface this by saying that my partner and I very, very rarely participate in PDA in public. We were not holding hands. We were not all over each other. We were just standing next to each other. Uh, we know better. We especially um, in a place that's not always accepting of the queer community, we were being safe. Um, it's just a choice that we've made. So anything that she said to us was based on an assumption. Yes, it was correct, but no, it was not based off of a behavior that we were displaying. So we were getting ready to get on a cruise ship and we decided to stop at Starbucks on the way. We walked in and everybody was looking in this woman's direction, which in a Starbucks, it's kind of weird because usually people are minding their own business, maybe getting some work done. So when we approached the counter, we heard the woman making very racist comments using racial slurs. She was saying anybody that was a person of color was a product of the devil and that we were all sitting in the presence of the devil and not doing anything about it. And then she approached an Asian customer in the store and said that the Asian community brought COVID over here to kill all of our people and that they were evil and creations of the devil. And so that's when my partner stepped in and said something, and that's when I started recording. So she was not provoked by anybody, and when she was recording, that's what, or when I started recording, that's what you saw. And then after that, not much came of it. The police were called. The manager was quick to remove her. The video is only a minute long, so trust me, things happen quickly. Um, the Starbucks employees were absolutely incredible to us and did a very good job handling the situation. To everybody saying that she's entitled to her opinion, yes, everybody is entitled to an opinion. But the key word in that is opinion. 
She was not stating an opinion. She was making false accusations towards people that she has never met and accusations that really could destroy somebody's livelihood. A lot of people were also wondering why we didn't do more or say more, but it's one of those situations where, number one, we were in shock, and number two, escalating it wasn't going to get us anywhere. I think it's obvious and clear that her opinions were pretty much solid, and no matter what we said was not going to change her mind, so we were just trying to defend the other people in the store, keep calm about what she was saying to us because it wasn't going to go anywhere. All of the support that we have received has greatly outweighed all of the negativity. So anybody leaving kind of supportive comments, we truly do appreciate it. And it does mean a lot. Um, anybody else, just move on. If you don't agree with us, move on. It's You don't need to say it. But thank you, everybody. And there was your part two. I don't understand how <clears throat> you can watch this video of this Giga Karen just railing against everyone. And apparently she was just going on a rampage. Um, I don't get how you can watch that video and then say, mm, yeah, well, you know, maybe she's right. She's entitled to her opinion. Like, it is wild to me that we have people who would see this and think, oh, no, no, no. She's the reasonable one, okay? This lime-flavored Giga Karen is the one who's being reasonable. It's the lesbians who are minding their own business who are being unreasonable. It's the Asian person in there who was told that um, she helped make Americans sick. Who's the unreasonable one there? I mean, this lady is absolutely fucking insane. Um, but, I mean, you're, you're going to get people who defend Karens regardless, right? But it's just insane to me that, like, she's presumably in Starbucks just, like, going up to each customer and harassing them based on what? It's so unhinged. Um, but, I mean, I'm here for it. Thankfully, we all have little camcorders now. Saying that word makes me, makes me feel like a boomer. But now we can actually document the Karens. And, um, yeah, eh, that was disturbing. But if you want a little bit of a palate cleanser, uh, I'm, I'm going to play this TikTok. This is from That B Boy Wolf. This one will make you feel better. Let's see what I got. <laughs> Let's see what I got. <laughs> Let's see what I got. love it it's a banger <laughs> this comment's pretty funny too i don't know if you all can see it uh how your job expects you to act when you get another pizza party <laughs> uh, my volume was up bro so funny so yeah a little bit of a palate cleanse there for you all mike is a total shit lip once he started chilling for the DNC, I stopped watching. So I definitely won't be hitting the subscribe button or turning on notifications by clicking the bell. No way. It's very sad, I know.